following the disagreement between the federal government and the academic union of the University ASU, the federal government on Tuesday said it would present a certificate of registration to the Congress of Nigerian University Academics, a separate body of academic unions. Conwa leadership has said it commenced its registration process in 2018, but the federal government said it was reluctant to approve the registration because it did not want to create a problem. Meanwhile, the union led by Niyi Sumanu, a lecturer from Obafemi Owolo University, OAU, has constantly dissociated itself from any strike declared by ASU. Julie, we've walked through this part again before. Mm -hmm. Now we are there, similar part. Instead of fixing the problem once and for all, we are trying to break their ranks, we are trying to break their back, we are trying to look at what you can use to weaken them effectively. Yes. But this will not work. The mainstream also remains. How many how many members uh, do they have in this corner? Well, no has been there since now. Mm. How many mm. people have they been able to bring to their mm. fold? The the mainstream um as well is there. It's just like in Lagos here, some people saying that they want to for the APC that they want to form a faction. <laughs> you heard what my name said. You have you heard how he described them the other day. Okay, okay. Yes now. Okay, okay. Salibu. Uh, you heard how he described yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. That some people will call what uh, looks like a naming ceremony. And yes, you say, say they, say, they have a congress. They have a congress. Mm. Say, naming say, ceremony. Mm. You know, uh, and today, true, true. That, that faction, that particular faction. They are, they are they nowhere to be found. Yeah, yes, yes. yes they have to be the naming party. ceremony. Yeah, no, mm. You know? At the end of the day, they will go to another party where they will be uh, well received. Mm. That will be their own natural habitat. Mm. <laughs> See, it's the same thing that we are going to have with ASU. And when government makes moves, they must be careful. Be careful what you wish for yourself because it may turn out to be even a weapon against the government. Mm -hmm. When Obasanjo wanted to make it difficult for ASU to be able to go on strike and he insisted that, okay, before you go on strike, you must have congresses, you must have these different levels of uh, consultation and all that, he started it in the law. Today, that thing is the reason. The WC of Asu cannot call us strike. <laughs> yes. No, we have to go to you that. Have to go you, to can't. That step. you can't. You can't. You have to go to the those different order. levels. It is when they agree that you know that, okay, okay. we have unanimity on this. You can't matter. penetrate the faction. Yes. Look, give them, bribe Osodeke or what's his name mm. and others. Bribe them. They can't end the strike. They can't end the strike. Bribe them, call them into a meeting because the and structure, bribe them. The structure, that he, the structure is there and it's not right. put in place. It has become an, an abatros. It was meant to make life difficult for them, but now it, is, it has become more difficult to even call off a strike right. because of those structures That's that right. you Most of the time they want to call off a strike, they say we are suspending. Yeah, yeah, the the world suspend, is suspend, suspension. They suspend knowing that at any point in time. They can you will never, any time they have a meeting with government, they will say, we are going to consult with Sweet. our colleagues mm. that after that, we will now take a decision. You will never see us who come out of a meeting in Asu Rock and say, okay, we are calling out strike. Okay. That is not going to happen. They have to go to have those, component those, yes, those, uh, those structures. You have to go to them, get their buy-in. Once you get their buy-in, you can now say, okay, the strike has ended. No one, give them all the billions in this world. They don't have the power to, by themselves, the leaders of us who call off a strike. And for me, you know, it was, it was, was saying that, look, let them register as many as yes, they want. <laughs> let them register that they are not bothered. Mm -hmm. This, I saw a friend of mine, he said, my daughter has been at home for eight months. Mm -hmm. Asu must not call off this strike without getting anything concrete. concrete. Ah, that's mm -hmm. a father my son has been at home for nine months. So, <laughs> they started it is four weeks after it It becomes even more difficult now so, that it's so long. What is it? People will ask, okay, what did you get out of it? They are thinking that of that. So, what will make sense? I don't know the recommendations that Bajar and others yes. have made to the president, but we must credit the speaker because anytime there's a crisis, you see mm. him trying to step in and all that, you know? He shows leadership. Yes. He, he said they have presented their report to. Mr. President. Mr. President, let us see what Mr. President 
will do. I know that we are broke. All those people who tell you that look, we are Nigeria is not broke, there is money everywhere. They need to do everything. <laughs> is that lack of solvency is one reason they are finding it difficult to address this problem. If it's about money alone, they, have, uh -huh. they would have fixed yes. fix, they would you, have fixed. they said, okay, uh, we, we are going to put in the uh, budget of next year, mm -hmm. this the particular budget, demand, yeah. we'll put it there. But those ones, those guys want concrete action. Mm -hmm. They know that that's just a promise. Mr. Abati, when, when you look at, uh, Mr. Abati, when, when you look at this kind of situation now, we have Conwa and Conwa <laughs> University of Ife. So let's say they will attempt to pull out of us or to start uh, uh, let, uh, well, well, to I, go back I, to the classroom. I, I think is that what this thing means is that those in government or those who are advising government, they're not thinking. I'm very sorry to say that. They're not thinking because the same system that has been adopted several years over, whenever there is crisis. Look at NANS. When NANS, when government wanted to deal with NANS in 1978, they have done the same thing. When the UPN or the AG of those days, the forms of what they call them, the rural leaders, at the end of the day, the team flooded, like he said. Form 1,000 bodies, mm. you would solve that, except you solve the particular fundamental problem. And that problem is the issue of financing or having a good attitude towards education funding in Nigeria. Those people who are telling the president that, look, we are going to divide them. Let us wait in the next one month and see what will happen, whether these two unions Kuasu and the one in the medical field, whether mm. they can achieve anything. We are just beating about the bush and trying to postpone the evil day. The evil, let us solve the fundamental problem. There was a time we said here that let us go on holiday for university for one year and sit down and decide the kind of a, 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 a policy we want to have on tertiary education in Nigeria. After that one year, you'll be able to say, yeah, Students in federal university mm -hmm. come and pay 50000 I think Rollins did that in Ghana now. And he did it in Ghana. Let in us Ghana. do it in Nigeria. We are just postponing it. Close, close this we are postponing uh, the evil day. Ghana now. Now, because today, Ghana. Nigeria, like I said, today, Nigeria, we cannot even Ghana, meet. Togo. We cannot Ghana, meet Ghana. the Ghana. OPEC quota for our oil, the main source, 90% of our revenue. If OPEC decide to cut output, like they are saying, because oil has fallen to $88, mm -hmm. if they cut output, Nigeria has not even been able to meet its own yes. allocation. Mm -hmm. So how are we going to do it? The issue about money. So let us, let it go with the fair okay, government let me take this call. president go well, back. Fidel is calling us from Oweri. That's yeah, good in most states. Hello, are you hearing me? Yes, Fidel, go ahead, please. Thank you very much. My name is Fidel Onyeneke. And I want to say that what the government has done by uh, licensing or uh, authorizing two more unions, it's not the solution. Yes. Because I'm saying this with all sense of responsibility. Remember that there was a time government tried to bacchanize the unions in the, in the, in the electricity sector. Mm -hmm. There was a time even the same NANS and so on had the same problem. So many unions. Yes. People never, I mean, we never recorded any serious change. What the government should do now, what matters uh, is for the government to continue dialoguing and show leadership by ensuring that as to people go back to school. And that's Thank you for your contribution, Fida. Mm. Yeah. Thank you for that contribution. Is so, the, the, government the options we have now? Yes. I agree with him that, look, return to the uh, drawing board. Yes. I believe that the reason for which ASU is um, UTAS, for example, I like what the Accountant General of the Federation says, that, look, let's look at their particular demand in respect of UTAS. Yes. Can we accommodate it in IPPIs? If you don't want multiple payment system, because you know government has a way of dividing the unions, even the university system, they got non-academic staff to, to go and register their own payment platform. Yeah. Saying that the uh, UTAS cannot represent everybody. So when uh, non-academic staff to come up with their own, you know that it makes no sense to say you want to do it for everybody. You know? But if they can be accommodated within IPPIS and they are sure that, look, those demands will be addressed, fine. But to not attempt to solve a problem is irresponsible. Mm -hmm. Once the problem is there, do your best to solve the problem. And not using it's not, arm twisting tactics. Yeah, you can't. No. Uh, trying no. to divide and rule. Yes. In fact, if, sometimes the Minister of Labor appears to even get personal on this matter. He mm. should stop it. 
It's somebody that I like, but I don't, even the body language sometimes you see that this is somebody who is already getting personal about this matter. Look at when he was walking out and he still beat Osodeke. <laughs> what is that? What's that now? <laughs> you know? You know, it's not easy. It's not an easy job. But <laughs> Dr. Ike is a tough man. <laughs> it's very funny. Yes, <laughs> it's very funny character. People of that stature, they are like that. He himself admitted it. <laughs> very funny character. <laughs> People of that stature, they are like that. You know, I mean, I'm just, I'm, I know I'm just a little taller than <laughs> Solve the problem, let these children go back, back to school. Mm. I mean, it's taking too long, eight months, since February 14th. And, 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 and the way we're looking at it, this is a... One academic season is gone no, already. It's gone. And some had only three months to write their thesis and go on national service. Three months. Before this problem. Before How can those ones forgive their country? They cannot. Well, honestly, they can't now. They, cannot. they will hold it against their and country. The, the jam that uh, the enrollment, jam enrollment is you know, expanding by the year. The it's number of students by the year that want to enter. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, now most of the seniors did not have backlog of two academic seasons. I know OEU and UI had one year. Now you have added another year. Yeah, to because be. like there were some domestic problems. Oh, COVID, the, the COVID. That COVID, that COVID, COVID caused. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. most of them have backlog. So if they return to school, probably by October ending, they have to admit students that, ha that has taken the examination since 2019. Mm. Wow. So which means you have 2020. So more disruption. So more oh, disruption wow. in the system. So I think, I think there should be sincerity or no pass. The federal mm. government and should so don't sit in for that is the what, problem. Are, what is mm. what And is, they should no, drop no. this uh, no pay, no, no work, no pay. There should be sincerity uh, from, from, from the stance government. That because these guys have not earned their salary since February. That will be difficult not to pay them their backlog. I don't think that is uh, even uh, the uh, greatest concern uh, of those people. Uh, they are, it's those demands. Right. Already we because have, you signed. Look at the you signed. This year. Mm. Why did you sign? Why you need to This year alone we have about 7,000 nurses that have migrated out of Nigeria. Same to medical doctors. Accountants too are migrating. Uh, somebody said Nigeria. once this strike ends, you see the number of academics. Uh, uh, academics. They will move out of Nigeria.